term behind the curtain comes from an author named Oliver Sacks. It refers to the study of how the brain interprets sound. And um, that's my whole premise behind this album. Um, you know, over the years I've gained an appreciation for beat making and producing and um, incorporating different techniques when you're producing. So I wanted to really get in depth and showcase my style of production and the different techniques that I incorporate. The artwork on uh, my album, Behind the Curtain, is a canvas painting done by uh, a guy named Pancho Abalos. When I first saw that canvas painting, it just immediately just spoke to me. The theme behind my album, Behind the Curtain, is um, sort of a, 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 a look into, you know, the, the audio aspect of art and then the visual aspect of art. So when I saw that painting, it just, it, immediately I knew that that was the artwork that we needed for, um, for the album. I've teamed up with Nature Sounds to put this instrumental album out and we're doing something a little bit different as opposed to just putting out an album with 15 instrumentals. Basically what, what I'm doing with this album is um, providing my sounds to the consumer. So if you're a producer, or um, a DJ, you get to use my drum sounds that I've used on the album, in addition to uh, some of the sound effects that I used, um, some of the bass sounds and keyboard sounds and things like that. So as a producer, you always want to progress your sound and you always want to try to, you know, always improve on what you're doing already. And uh, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to do the same thing over and over because you know after a while you get bored. I come from the school of, of chopping samples and 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 using break beats from vinyl. But there's, there's multiple reasons why I've progressed my sound. One of those reasons being the advancement of technology. You know, instead of spending two, three hours at a record store, you know, getting records, uh, I can go online and get samples now. And uh, it's, it's every year that goes by, that becomes more and more accepted. Growing up in a, in a musical household, I've just naturally progressed to uh, uh, you know, doing everything myself as far as you know, making my own samples and playing my, playing keyboard and and uh, learning how to play guitar and bass and things like that and working with more musicians to kind of give me a bigger sound. So um, for me personally, it was a natural progression to uh, evolve my sound. It, it's opened up more doors for me as far as my creativity in uh, in making beats, and it's also allowed me to cross more genres and uh, you know do. Uh, do things outside of hip-hop as well. <laughs>